All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be looking at another cheapie by Murata. It's called Armor. Um, and I picked this up at the TJ Maxx home store um, in the area that I live in. And uh, I love this brand. I think you can find these cheapies at a lot of rack stores by Murata, and they definitely punch above their price point. They smell better blended um, and just more uh, of higher quality than their price would indicate. So I highly recommend picking these up. You know, I've started looking under the cap and seeing when something's made in the UAE, it's not going to be super cheap basic and smell like Axe or, you know, some sort of body spray that's like a cheap get by type thing. Um, and this is no different. Now this, I will say, is a lighter scent. And I smelled it in the store and I could tell it could be a hit or miss. Um, it doesn't smell the most masculine. So this is supposed to be a fall spring fragrance. And I would say it's on the lighter side. And I would say probably depending upon your body chemistry, it may be a little bit too light for some. I'm going to keep it and try to wear it. I've had it for a week. I've worn it twice. Um, I will say it probably lasts about, I don't know, three to four hours on me. It is a lighter scent. So, you know, you probably want to overspray, but I would give it probably about 15, 20 minutes before you went in somewhere because it can project a lot just given the notes, which I'll get into right now. So the top notes are bergamot, lemon, and marine. Um, middle notes or heart notes are geranium, muguet, cardamom, and pepper. And then the base notes are amber, musk, cedarwood, and patchouli. So, I mean, you would think this, the musk, amber, and cedar wood would kind of settle it and give it, you know, more of a masculine smell. But I don't know, just to my nose, this, if you told me this was a perfume, I might believe you. So, you know, when I wear something as a man, I feel like a lot of times, like my own body chemistry and, you know, personal musk, you know, make it a little bit more masculine so it can kind of carry it and if you wear something with confidence and you smell good you smell good or i would believe this is a unisex fragrance so i'm going to hold on to it because i think you know in your collection you need some diversity you don't always want to have stuff that you like that smell a certain way or super masculine um you know you want to kind of have a mix this i would probably wear on a walk to run errands um I don't know, maybe to the gym because it is a lighter, fresher fragrance. I would say it's more springy than fall because the bergamot and lemon are two very high citrusy kind of notes. Um, you know, this wouldn't be like a date night fragrance. Um, this isn't a cozy fragrance to me. It's acceptable and worth a buy. I wouldn't buy two bottles. I would probably buy another bottle if I ran out just to have diversity in my collection, just to have something different. Um, but, you know, if I was dating someone for a while, I would wear this, you know, around them. But it wouldn't be first, second, third, fourth kind of date fragrance because it is light. You know, I want to project a little bit more masculinity than this. Yeah, I mean, you can wear it year round. I, I suspect that winter would probably suffocate it a bit and you'd have to overspray to where you got indoors, you would knock somebody out because, you know, it is a little zesty. Um, I mean, you can smell the amber and musk. I mean, the pepper note to me is is kind of down a little bit. You smell the geranium. Um, I would like to smell a little bit more of the musk and cedar wood. I think the patchouli kind of punches through a little bit more on this. Um, out of 10, Man, I would give this probably a 6, 5.8 out of 10. Again, it's a diversity buy. Um, you know, if, if you don't have your primary fragrances locked in, don't buy this. Skip it. Even at $17, you want to lock down just at least three fragrances that you really like to wear. Not that you, you know, you wear cologne and fragrances for a variety of reasons. You wear them because you like your own personal sillage. You like the way they smell on you, the way they make you feel, memories they bring back, people you think about, but then also for reaction. And um, you want people to have a good reaction. And, and this one, I think you could get compliments on it. Um, but it's so light. As a man, you probably won't get too many, just depending upon the, the woman or the person you're around. 
I can't see your bros complimenting you, but um, I don't know. You know, it, it's it's okay. It's okay. So, yeah, I would recommend picking it up at least once just to wear it. But after that, I probably wouldn't buy it again unless you need kind of some diversity, some spice in uh, your collection. So, All right, and one last thing about armor is that this lasts about... I don't know, maybe three to four hours on me. So it is a lighter fragrance. So when it dries down, it gets a little light. Um, it's, it's not as lasting to me. So you'll have to probably reapply midday, you know, two thirds through the day. You could probably overspray and get a little more. But here's the thing about, you know, fragrances that have a lot of citrus. You can overspray but it doesn't lend to longevity. It just makes it extra loud on the top and you overpower people and it will be kind of repulsive. It'll be repelling. And then it'll dry down to nothing. So I personally do not believe you can overspray a very citrusy scent to lasting a lot longer. I think you want to reapply on that. I mean, that's just a rule of thumb for me because I've tried to do it, not thinking about it. And then it's like for the first 30 minutes, you're killing your homies or the girl you're interested in or whoever you're around, your parents, your brother, your sisters. And then it drives down to nothing. And they're like, I have a headache and now I can't even smell what you smell like anymore. So just don't overspray this. Just reapply if you're into it. Maybe, I don't know, three and a half, four hours in and um, you'll get more life. Again, you only paid $16.99 or 20 bucks or whatever for it, so it's okay.